Happy sixth graders. So here are our notes uh, that we'll be going over um, for 7.3 Roman society. All right. So first, we'll look at uh, men and women. Uh, Roman law encouraged large families because they they knew that the larger the family was, the more successful that they could be. Uh, so there were laws that encouraged this. Uh, this practice kind of almost goes all the way through um, World War II, um, where it's kind of rekindled throughout that point. But um, again, you know, they wanted to make sure that they had a large number of army forces, so they encouraged uh, a lot of people to have families. Uh, the fathers had the absolute power over the household. They made all the decisions. They're the ones that went out and did the work. Uh, women didn't really have a lot of freedoms. And, um, you know, and that mainly was because of what their husbands did. The lower in society they were, the poorer they were, the less freedoms they had. The wealthier they were, the more freedoms they had. Um, and then, you know, like it says here, you know, they enjoyed independence. Some of them uh, even actually became famous themselves. They're able to be seen out in public. They're able to be a part of public life, uh, so on and so forth. All right, so let's go down here to the rich. All right, they had these huge villas uh, where much of the empire's food was grown. And again, these are on the outskirts of Italy. Uh, this is why the Romans uh, went and spread out and conquered a lot is because they needed more food. The larger the population have, the more food you need. Uh, so they needed to find areas and conquer areas where they could uh, do this. Um, you know, they had elaborate feasts to celebrate their gods, to celebrate holidays, so on and so forth, just like most of them did. Uh, most people did at this time. Uh, and then they also enjoyed watching these gladiator battles in the Colosseum. It was kind of a, a way to get out of the, the, the life, you could say, a, a way for them to get out of reality and uh, enjoy something that wasn't that didn't require you know a lot of thinking brain power just kind of sit back and watch kind of like you know a lot of people do with tv or playing video games or so on things of that nature um slaves all right almost every wealthy family owned them and a lot of that reason is because uh they could afford it and they did all the chores cooked cleaned, took care of the kids you, you name it all right um the household slaves lived a good life a lot of the times, um, you know, they, the worst ones are the ones that worked on the farms or in mines. Their life expectancy was extremely short. Uh, and gladiators, you know, for a few, or actually most of them, there's, there's a small few that had, you can find in the history books, but most of them, short, brutal lives, killed, like, in a lot. Um, and then lastly... They were able to buy their freedom. These were mainly the slaves that were owned by the wealthy families that um, would do more of the chores and things of that nature and get and get paid for. Not all slaves got paid. Uh, a few did, and those ones were able to buy their freedoms, So, which was kind of nice. Lastly, we have the poor. Uh, rundown housing uh, with no running water, toilets, or kitchens, whereas a lot of those rich villas, they had things of this nature. Uh, they're given free grain by the emperor, again, to prevent rioting. All right, do whatever you can to make sure that the poor are happy. That was uh, a big motto in Rome because a lot of people were poor, so a lot of emperors gave them free grain uh, to have food so that they didn't have to necessarily go uh, without food, but they would, um, you know, it, w it wasn't a lot. Um, not a lot of proteins, not a lot of fruits, vegetables, as the rich would have gotten. Um and then they also enjoyed watching the gladiators in the Colosseum. They were more up in the nosebleed sections, uh, but, you know, if they could afford it, they would go as well. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.